Alright, what's going on guys? Beatbox Blade Slashing in here and today I'm talking about Zelda vs Mario. With that being said, let's get started. This is a new series I'm calling Video Game Versus. Now I'm basing this video off of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and Super Mario 64. It's my job to analyze their story, gameplay, quality, characters, and popularity to find out who will win our first video game Versus. Let's begin with story. The Legend of Zelda has spanned several games with its one staple, Ocarina of Time. The story of a boy going from nobody to the hero of time. Link is an extraordinary young man learning sword skills along his journey and jumping through the past and the future. It's the charm of this specific game that has made it the most widely accepted best game of all time. Now, this is the legend of a plumber in red who somehow gets a princess girlfriend who seems to like being captured. Assuming she's the mother of all the Koopa kids, Mario will go through his land parkouring and stopping at nothing to save his girlfriend from an unlocked castle. It's the simplicity of Mario that makes it so popular. Now let's move on to Zelda's gameplay. Zelda has very simple yet complex controls with Z-targeting, using the C-sticks to use items, and overall the many different ways to swing your sword. There's the 3D perspective to look at with the camera control not being the greatest, not to mention the waiting in the game, just waiting for an opponent to make a move so you can kill it. On Mario's side, it's literally just using the joystick, the A button, and the B button. It's just the simplicity and the 3D perspective that makes it so difficult. Not exactly knowing where to swing, and with the limitation of spinning the camera around four times, when you're stuck somewhere, it's very difficult to get out without dying. Let's move on to quality. Ocarina of Time, for when it came out in 1998, was very revolutionary for the Zelda series, but Ocarina has several glitches and it isn't a perfect game, but it's not the worst. One noteworthy glitch is the glitch used by speedrunners to hop through a wall in the Great Deku Tree and, once performed correctly, can teleport you to the Castle of Ganon. Mario was revolutionary, yes, but not just for Mario, for the foundation of gaming, jumping from 2D to 3D, but Mario 64 isn't without its own glitches. With one similar to the Ocarina end glitch, a glitch was discovered in Mario 64 where you could long jump backwards, allowing the game to be beaten in 5 minutes. Hey, if you haven't, you should hit that like and subscribe button. If you have, thanks bro. Now, characters, like this guy, for example, are pretty memorable. Zelda actually has a lot of those, going from Link to Sheik to these two. Zelda never fails to deliver memorable characters, but Mario, on the other hand, has, of course, Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, but after them and Bowser, there's not really that many characters to leave an impact. Like, for example, who are these two? That's right, nobody cares. Now, last but certainly not least, Let's look at popularity. Zelda Ocarina of Time is a game known to possibly every gamer in the world and most adults. Mario's popularity isn't really that big, it's just known by anyone who exists. In 2007, Mario was more recognizable than Mickey Mouse. There's all of our qualifying factors, now can I get a drum roll please? The winner of the first video game versus is... Yes, it was our plumber dressed in red who took the title, spending more games, simple controls, and a landslide win in popularity. Our winner is Mario. This has been Beatbox Blade. Think it out of the box. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, as well as share with your friends if you feel like it. And I will see you this Thursday with a brand new video. So for now, have a good one.